54th match for Zayr Khan. 81 wickets, averaging 26 a wicket. An economy rate of less than five. And in the modern game, that's not too bad at all. In this series, five wickets. Zahir to Astle. Oh, that's a very good shout. He's given it. It's the crooked finger. It's a nod of the head, but then it was the crooked finger, and Astle is on his way back. What a strike for Zahir Khan. Very well bowled by Zahir. Right on the button there. There it is. Coming in just a little bit. Not even fully forward, Nathan Astle. He might have... Uh, created a bit of confusion in the mind of the umpire because of that exaggerated follow-through and that's why the umpire took his time to raise that crooked finger Billy Bowden giving Nathan Assel out and it's a start much like India's has been in the previous matches New Zealand one wicket down without a run on the ball Matthew Sinclair at three for the Black Caps of New Zealand. In his 30th match, he's averaging 29. Four half centuries and two centuries. He's got a 70 in this series. And Zayar Khan on the mark. Astle's removed. Oh, he's bowled him. That is a great delivery. Zayar Khan is on fire. Well, he had no clue. Matthew Sinclair has looked in good touch, but this time he had absolutely no clue. Shouldering arms, and look at that. The ball coming back just a little bit, hitting the top of the off stump. And Zaid's got two and two. Delighted, isn't he? So New Zealand now lose their second wicket, and they still do not have a run on the board. Chris Harris recalled to this side with 216 matches under his belt. And the moment of truth, really, for Chris Harris. He's a seasoned campaigner, 216 matches. He's in his 217th, he's averaging 30. But now, crucially, he's on a hat trick. He faces Zayar Khan, who has removed Nathan Astle and Matthew Sinclair. The last Indian player to take a hat-trick was Kapil Dev against Sri Lanka in Calcutta in 1990. And Stephen Fleming, the Kiwi captain, is watching. Zayar Khan on a hat-trick. Stonewall defence from Harris. 